Psalm 120. Uh, We are beginning two things this morning, actually. A new sermon series for our Lord's Supper observances, as well as a new series of table addresses. And the the new series of table addresses was conceived first. The new series of sermons for the Lord's Supper observances came out of more of a practicality. The, um, the, the sermons on Matthew have been a bit longer, and it makes for a, a very long service if I'm going to be adding a table address to the sermons on the Gospel of Matthew. So we are going to start a, a new sermon series paired with a new series of table addresses, and we are going to be looking at a particular part of the Psalter which takes us this morning as the first sermon in this series to Psalm 120. And I'll I'll be saying a bit more about this particular section within the book of Psalms when we come to the sermon itself. But before we do so, please pray with me, and let's ask for God's blessing. Our gracious and heavenly Father, We pray now that by word and by spirit, you would speak to all those gathered here this morning. That you would open our minds and our hearts to receive your word. That you would warm our hearts by that invisible, mysterious, and yet real and powerful.